Hi, and welcome back to the Trucking Scribe. Today we're going to make this small paper bag journal. I use this size bag, which is three by six and a half. It's a small bag to make the pages inside. I used a Amazon package to make the cover. And you just take and you make a page, page or a signature out of one paper bag. So here's a bigger one just to show you an example that's a paper bag. And then you just sew it right here in your book. So I'm challenging my Facebook group to make any size page paper bag. Post a picture in our Facebook group to be in a running for a drawing. I'm going to give this one away. I still have to decorate the front. But this will go to one lucky winner. And let's see. We do have a swap if you would like to participate in the swap. If not, the winner for this will be drawn on January 29th. I believe is the day, last day of that swap. So. Make your paper bag page and take a picture, post it on our Facebook group. It's all you need to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for today. I'm working on some paper bag pages for junk journals. Let me see. Aurora's window is the lady that I saw these from saw her do them on her channel so i'm gonna leave a link make sure please go see her um her video because she did a great job in my facebook group i am going to actually have a challenge that you make at least one one paper bag book page here's another one so i have two different sizes here this was a Panera bread bag, and this one is just a little tiny, small one. that I bought some thinking they were bigger. It is three by six and a half. So what I'm asking my group to do is to post a picture of a paper bag page just like this. You can, pick, you can decorate it any way you want. And at the end of the month, we have a swap going on that's, in, that's titled Junk Journal Pages Paperback. It starts on the 15th, but it's already posted today. And partners will be given on the 29th of January. So when I get done, I'm going to be giving this little journal that I'm making from these to one person that, that posts a picture and enters the challenge. So I'm going to show you how to make one. I guess that these are small. And this bigger one is like a six by ten and a half. So, you know, it can be any size you want. So what I did first was I have a lot of little pieces that are just scraps, I mean literally scraps. So what I'm going to do, and these kind of coordinate, they came out of the same book. I think I can get, yeah. so my measuring is like this. You put it right there and then just draw a line because I want to leave a little extra space. Then I'm going to bring this over just for a second. I'm gonna, it's not going to stay too long because it's big. I got this as a Christmas present. I love it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking and putting this line right here that I just drew. And that's my cut line. So that 
paper cutter is going to be over here to the side and I'm going to be using it. So again, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm measuring this now. It might be helpful if you turn it over so you don't have marks on your paper. So I just want a little, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. If you're doing a set of these, it would probably be good to make to cut several of these sides out and then several of the next size. I'm just doing one. And I did round these on the seven millimeter side. You don't have to round them, you don't have to ink them up. I'm just doing mine. So I'm going to glue this one right here. My glue's been sitting out for a little bit. And these are actually a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed making these. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I need little piece to go right here and I folded my bag and I didn't say that a while ago I folded it in half and this is going to be my signature area right here so that's the fold I think I want a darker color so these are all wonky and I'm trying to get them halfway straight so again, what I'm going to do is, actually, I can use this one to get my measurements. I have the same size, and I'm going to cut this again, just like I did a while ago. Which would be nice if I was straighter at it. Let's see. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And then what I'm doing is, this is going to be a pocket. I'm trying to get that in just enough. I'm marking it again where I want to trim. So really, either one of these pieces will work, I believe. So you could use these on... Um, if you were doing multiples, you could use that extra piece. I wanted this pretty flower, but I think I'm just going to put that up under there. So we had a lot of rain yesterday, and then the cold weather came in. And just overnight, the temperature dropped. We've been going back and forth between really cold and not really hot, but hot for this time of year. So I'm just going to stick this door. I've got a little bit top and bottom and where it kind of matches. I'm not matching too much on my top there, but... Then we're going to make another one. I'm wondering what that would look like. Would that be too, too large? Hmm. I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Same thing, I'm just going to use this to measure it and while I'm here. Well, that's about where it's at. I'm going to go ahead and mark this. That's already there, so I don't need a width on it. My mat is getting kind of dirty. 
No, it's gonna buy another one. They got one. Crazy expensive. And there's, the only thing that's wrong with my mat is it's dirty because I didn't, wasn't paying attention and I got glue and stuff on it. So I put me a scrapbook paper down so that it would cover that up. So that I'm gonna do the same thing. I mean, this is basically all we're doing besides decorating it. And I'm gonna do some sewing later once I get the cover. On here. So right here, this is going to be our pocket, this little opening. So I'm going to glue from here all the way up to the top. And same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to also glue this back one because I don't want it. hard to, to do it and show it at the same time. So see where I have the glue? It's just up to this little area. You do that on both sides. And you don't have to. You could leave that open so your pocket's bigger. I just chose to glue it down. I'm going to glue right here. And this week has just flown by. I'm trying to use up some of all this stuff that I've got in my craft room. You know, there's just all kinds. Although I keep getting digital. I love the digital. So now we're going to do this side. And what I did on these other two, I stamped some of these. Now yeah, these stamps on Amazon. I don't know if you can see them or not with the glare. But same cards, same size. I just took and I stamped on top of them. So I'm gonna have them backwards here. Uh, So I'm going to use one of these to go on the front page, but I'm looking to see, I don't want to cut a lot of the, the stuff off. So I'm going to go them. Don't have you, but I can let see. I just don't want to trim off all this down here. At the moment, that's what I have, and I was just going to throw these away. And I said, "Well, let me do this," and they turned into something really nice. I'm going to use that one. And again, I'm just trimming it down to where it's going to fit. I'm just going to cut off more than I want, but I really do like this. And you see on this one, I even stenciled on the back because I was thinking about using the journaling card. So if you wanted to put this where you have another pocket on the front, I didn't do it with these, but you could. Let's go ahead and do it with this one. Put a little hole there. Have little pieces fly off on me. So I'm just going to glue three sides. That is that one. 
looking. I'd want to put something underneath it just to give it a little more color. It's just and all I want to do is kind of I'm taking my glue there. Just looks like it's it's made something else right there. This is how I get off track and I wind up making other stuff. If something doesn't look right and then I gotta add to it, which is great because it comes up with new ideas. I want that there. Yeah, that looks better. I'm just gonna glue this back down. I think I'm going to use this one as my back. Now on this one, I would not recommend a pocket, an extra pocket like we did on the other side. Because you've already got this pocket right there and it's not real, it won't be real sturdy. So you could put sheets of paper or signatures in here in the middle. Exactly. These are kind of white so I don't know if I'm going to use them in this. But you can do like that and then your book has a writing page. I may wind up getting some. So now what I'm going to do is decorate it. So I'm using chapter one labels. I'm also using um, Tracy Fox. Let's see, I got these little dangles that I put on the pages. So this one is quality digital sheets. So digital SDG designs for you. This one's chapter one. I don't have a the name on it, but I do for these. I'm thinking I should be able to do this. Let's see if it will be most. So I got this one, I want to use it somewhere. Just did not figure out the place to put it. So I want to put it somewhere. Could put it right there and do a belly band. Huh? That would look good because I don't have a belly band. This is a little thin, so what I'm going to do is actually just glue it down to this. Cut it out again. You can use glue stick if you want. Had not thought of a belly band for this. Let that just popped in my mind. So that will go right there. I'm going to try and leave a little pop up space so where it can get in there. What I think I'm going to do is just a little side tuck. My office, my craft room. The floor is carpeted and I have 
make such a mess sometimes with this. And I didn't do this. I can do it. So I'm going to put some bling on here. Okay, let's see. I'm running out of my small ones, but they look so nice to me on little stuff that I really like using them. So I'm wondering what I'm going to put back here. I have some butterflies in the cave. About this too light. So what I did was for the butterflies, I took and punched them out with the, this little punch here I've had for a while. I also punched out some flowers. I don't have the butterflies. <laughs> I like that a little better. So like I said, the challenge, you do not have to mail and you do not have to swap with anybody. You can just make one, take a picture and post it on our group and you'll be entered for the drawing for this journal. Just looking to see if I'm putting anything else in it to make it look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a piece of that. Is that going to be too much? Okay. So I think with that side's done, let's turn it over and see what I want to do there. I have enough vellum that I could do a vellum pocket. If I got it wrong, yeah, it's done. Can put a little bit of this on here. And that one, I don't like the red one. I like that one better. That's more lace. Left it under there. Mm -hmm.
So over here, I'm just going to put some jewels on it, just to give it some definition of how I want to go get small. So I will finish putting these on, and then I'm going to do some sewing, and I'll be back. Well, before I go get the other ones, let me go ahead right now. And so what I'm going to do, I've got an Amazon packaging. And I'm going to take and measure this way. This is going to work. This <laughs> so these are three and a quarter, so I want at least three and a half times two would be seven, and then I want a one inch. So I need an eight inch cut. Trying to turn this side, I think it might work better. Then it is three and three quarter, three and three, three and a half. That came in some Amazon packaging the other day. The reason I am going to glue that onto here is because this is coming up, and I really don't want all that showing. So I'm going to be sewing this so I'm not worried about a lot of glue. The one thing that I do want to do on this one is see right in here. I'm going to open this up. And right at the edge, I'm going to turn it and get that off so it'll seal. Not sure what it is, but it feels like foam. Then what I'm going to do is just glue it back down. Okay. I think that's just styrofoam in there. I don't know. I just preferred to do this the other day when I used one of these bags. It's just to make sure that it kind of stayed down. Like I said, I am going to sew it so that it will help. See right here, I don't really need to worry about it because I don't see any. I don't know if you really need to do that or not. I just did. So I have been sewing it in my little journal. I actually had to recut. It's a little too big. So I had to recut. But what I'm doing now is I decided to sew these in. So this very middle one I folded. Just folded in half and then. I put this and I sewed straight down the spine all the way across. So the one on the front, I just kind of 
decided that's where I want it because I wanted that much room off of it. This is going to give room in between also, so if you want to add more or less, and I'm kind of doing the same thing over here, just looking to where I want to have my page, and it is definitely not all straight. And I'm just going to sew it right on down there. Think. I moved my son to shoot. Mess. All that together. All right. So now I have sewed this in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, because that spine is not very sturdy. So I didn't think about that to start with. Second time around, I would go ahead and put the spine. That's okay, I'm fixing a glue one on there. Some of these little strings up. So that's about one inch. I'm gonna cut. First I need to decide what I want on my front. What do I have left? I like these because they're dark. But yeah, they got some light in, so I think I'm going to use this one. And again, I'm going to leave a little space. I'm going to use this fabric tack because it's just the stitches make it thicker. So the, the barely arch just doesn't seem to catch good for me, so I'm just using this. Let's see, if I had done this first, then that would, I could see my stitching, but since I didn't, we're not going to see it. I just keep cutting a little bit off so I can get it just about in there, but not so much that So then, you know, my inside has rounded corners, but this thinking just leaving it this square, or should I? Should I round it off? I think that one on the front. Where's it going to be? Right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into a few different videos, at least two. So we'll have this here where I'm putting, doing one of the pages in the cover. And then I think we will
maybe make some ephemera, I don't know. It turned out pretty good. I like it. Not sure I like the pointy corners though. So I am going to stop here. We have the cover on, we have the pages sewn in. And there's plenty of room for it to grow or to put stuff in here in your pockets. Um, and actually, I think I might could get another, another one right there. And it fit. My well, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you've learned something new. This will be for a giveaway in my Facebook group. All you need to do is make a page. One of these pages. You don't have to make the whole book. You just decorate up a paper bag page and you post pictures on Facebook. So thank you guys and have a great weekend.